Hi my dear students, welcome back to my channel. Today rules theorem and Lagrange mean value theorem. What are the important definitions and um, questions we are discussing? Today very short answers. Two more questions. Every two more question last bit tenth bit must and should be rules theorem or Lagrange theorem must and should be it will be there. Okay. Then what is the definition of uh, rules theorem and what is the definition of state uh, Lagrange theorem? Okay. Discussing now uh, state rules theorem. So listen. F from A comma B is a closed bracket tends to R be a function satisfying the following conditions. Okay, here three conditions satisfy, then only that will be called rules theorem. Okay, satisfy the rules theorem. Okay, what are the three points? First point is F is continuous on A comma B, closed bracket of A comma B. Okay, F is differentiable on open bracket of A comma B. Differentiable means here A comma B not there that values. That's why open bracket of a comma b okay third point f of a equal to f of b then there exists at least one c belongs to a comma b such that f dash c equal to zero okay f dash here there f dash c equal to zero got it this is the definition of rolls theorem suppose asking question and a statement then you should write here three points you will get one one mark okay a letter question will be also there right here one mark of definition and one mark of, uh, problem okay suppose statement asking that time next statement of Lagrange theorem f from a comma b tends to r be a function satisfying the following conditions here also three conditions okay if is continuous on a comma b same if is differentiable on a comma b then there exists at least one c belongs to a comma b such that f dash c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a okay here uh, here difference only here f dash c equal to 0 got it and here f dash c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a got it now we discuss we are discussing now some questions okay let's see find the value of c in rolls theorem for the function y equal to f of x equal to x square plus 4 on minus 3 comma 3 okay now how to find this value of c here okay what is the condition rolls theorem here you should write compulsory some points okay suppose y equal to f of x right given what y equal to f of x equal to x square plus 4 okay next is a polynomial function is a polynomial which is continuous okay which is continuous on minus 3 comma 3 closed bracket continuous okay and differentiable differentiable on open bracket minus 3 comma 3 okay any point is given then you should write compulsory given curve and nest given function and continuous on minus 3 comma 3 closed bracket is um, continuous differentiable now means okay open bracket of given point okay then next here what f dash x we want here f of x is given right then um, that is x square plus 4 right next uh, first uh, here yes here let suppose a is a b you are taking right then f of a means f of minus 3 equal to then i'm applying here in the text plus minus 3 whole square plus 4 is 9 plus 4 equal to 13 right next f of b is f of 3 equal to 3 square is uh, 9 plus 4 that is also 13 therefore f of a equal to f of b right then here exist therefore we find here now c belongs to f of a equal to f of b then here satisfies all conditions right then you write here satisfies all conditions all conditions okay here three conditions right next yes f dash c equal to zero then c value should find now okay now f dash x first find out f of x is x square plus 4 then f dash x is what 2x right 2x then f dash c is what 2c right then 2c equal to 0 
right f dash c equal to 0 means 2c equal to 0 then c equal to 0 okay that means here c value c value between minus 3 comma 3 right therefore c belongs to minus 3 comma 3 closed bracket between value right that's why c belongs to minus 3 comma 3 therefore rolls theorem satisfied then you write rolls theorem satisfied okay this is a some but two marks only but here you should write compulsory up to here two marks then f of a equal to f of b you write then f dash c equal to 0 compare them then you write directly 2x 2c equal to 0 c equal to 0 therefore c is belong 0 is belongs to this one right given function given uh, interval therefore rules theorem satisfied okay this is the rules theorem conditions okay now lagrange's theorem Yes, sin x minus sin 2x is function is given, right? Then what is the first step? Yes, f of x equal to, yes, given first right, f of x equal to sin x minus sin 2x, right? Okay, next, continuous function, right? f is continuous function and given interval is 0 comma pi closed bracket right next differentiable f is differentiable okay and open bracket 0 comma pi okay these are two conditions next f dash x yes f dash x is sin x derivative is what cos x okay sin x derivative is what cos 2x into 2 means minus 2 cos 2x right f dash x is this okay next f dash c what is the formula f dash c in lagrange's theorem f dash c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a okay here a b is 0 comma p got it now f dash x minus this no then write 2 cos x minus 2 cos 2 x equal to f of b is what pi right uh, then you write here sin pi okay minus cos pi yes see f of b means here pi sin pi is 0 uh, then sin 360 is uh, pi into 2 is 360 sin 360 is also 0 then 0 first right then 0 minus f of 0 is also 0 right here total will be 0 b minus a means uh, pi minus 0 is pi okay 0 by pi now taking cross multiplication okay f dash c is there then i am writing here in terms of c okay in terms of c okay now uh, f of 0 is 0 yes 0 by anything is what 0 by anything is 0 right then you write here 0 okay then you should write here cross simplification here cos c minus cos 2c equal to 0 right okay then here we should find here c value okay here the uh, quadratic equation or cos c minus cos d also you can apply okay okay sorry here cos x is there i wrote here 2 extra okay sorry here 2 not there okay then here 2 there okay then cos c minus 2 into cos t formula in terms of cos i am writing c 2 cos square c 2 cos square c minus 1 equal to 0 okay then quadratic equation in terms of cos okay then 2 to the 4 cos c minus 2 to the 4 cos square c minus minus plus 2 under 2 equal to 0 okay then 4 cos square c minus cos c minus 2 equal to 0 right minus a common here okay then 4 to the 8 yes 4 to the 8 next uh, Okay, see here 4 to the 8 you will want 1 here not, not exist any number that's why I am taking here minus b plus or minus formula okay cos c equal to minus b minus, minus plus b uh, 1 plus or minus square root of minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac minus, minus plus for 4 for, for, for the 16 into the 32 right mm, next by 2a right 2 4 the 8 yes this will be 1 plus or minus root 33 by 8 okay c equal to what cos inverse of this one root 33 or 1 plus or minus root 33
by h okay is the value lagrange theorem should do like this method okay mean value uh, like uh, rolls theorem is yeah this is the method okay then please watch and uh, all videos you will get good information okay okay bye thank you